dance of death. I go running, my daily route early morning, before even settling to working from home, to get fit for sitting endlessly at the kitchen table, now mutated to desk, for staring endlessly at a cold blue screen. I go running, music in my ears, in order to forget that we live in times when breath alone can kill. I see her under the bridge, totally absorbed, eyes closed. She moves full of grace amidst the debris of empty bottles and graffiti scores. She dances. She dances alone, weightlessly wafting. She gives herself up to the moment. I run past, a smile on my lips, but then something presses the stop button in me. I stop turn around, succumb to the magic, begin to move to the rhythm of my music. I dance with her. We dance as if enjoying an evening in the club, like we used to in the unreachably distant past. In the early morning, under the motorway bridge, we dance on against fear, against restrictions, against photos of the sick, of exhausted carers, against photos of the dead which flood us day after day, which accompany our sleep, darken our dreams night after night. We dance on against death. We dance rings around the virus. We tear the crown from its ugly skull. We dance two metres apart, social distancing, even here in this lonely place, distance observed. So it seems only seems, for rarely before have I felt so close to a stranger, so close.